Hi and welcome to my channel, Journal Eclectic. My name is Carol and today in this part 4 I will be, well, we'll starting with a little flip through of what I've gone, uh, what I've done so far. But we're also going to uh, finish up the snippet roll uh, page and it's uh, envelope mailer. So right now uh, I'm doing a little... Uh, I'm going through my journal to see where I'm at, what needs to, to be done. All of these uh, little tags, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so right now there's a lot. The coin envelope. I did add a little tag, uh, a page tab at the, at the side here. It's a bit blank, but it's not finished. So while we're watching this uh, little flip through, I uh, would like to invite you to visit my coffee page for the next freebie. And also I would like you to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment like a little art and uh, hit the like button. This will help my channel and it costs you nothing. And hopefully you are enjoying this uh, project. Now the thing with the uh, crafters is when we keep our stuff near us, at least for me, uh, like the snippet wall, we actually get to use them a lot easier in our journal because they're around us. So my snippet roll uh, was uh, ready to be used and I'm really happy that uh, I made it. I will be able to add it to a lot of more to a lot more journals. Now my giant tag uh, here I had to cut it a little shorter because uh, it was almost impossible to uh, make it slide all the way down the pocket. Again, it was a little too tight. I'm going to add the scrap uh, bits that I have uh, around me from the paper pad. Now the ones that I had to cut uh, for the making of the journal so far. And I'm going to add them to the snippet roll so it will uh, fit with the rest of the journal. I'm also going to sew on the snippet roll. Uh, you will see that uh, at almost at the end of the video it's a short one so it won't be that long and now it's really just a question of putting them where you want and where uh, you like them
So this mailer, uh, I actually cut the back uh, that I had uh, folded before and just kept a little flap so I will be able to put it under the snippet roll. And now I'm opening uh, the mailer completely so I can actually uh, trace around the transparent bits. And for some reason I didn't use the entire length of that paper. I could have just uh, put it uh, all over, but apparently that wasn't in my mind. And I'm going to use also some graphite paper to uh, trace around the little windows. And simply be careful with uh, those uh, graphite papers because the graphite doesn't seem to want to go very easily even with an eraser.
And I also decided to put this uh, journal card uh, paper uh, inside the envelope. I felt that uh, I had to bring some vintage uh, look into this project, which I will prob probably do at the end of my project when I will make uh, the final decorations because uh, the just the paper pads, it's so clean and crisp it's really not like John journaling now we see the pretty butterfly and also keeping uh, everything uh, uh, straight and everything well glued will be uh, quite the challenge I really like this little page that uh, this flip out page now you can see that I've sewn on my snippet roll looks much better and while I'm adjusting and uh, caressing my my papers in order to glue them properly because my glue is uh, the normal type not it's not the hot glitter glue I would like you uh, I would like to thank you for spending this time with me and as your support of course is important for growing my channel I'd like you to uh, subscribe comment and hit the like button don't forget to uh, go visit my coffee page for the freebies and i also have uh, journals that i sell there and a digital kit so if you want to go see it's there for you now as you can see my uh, glue i had to press a lot longer than expected but that's often what uh, we have to do in order to do our project it's just a question of applying some pressure and uh, letting the um, watery part of the glue to uh, go through the paper then it's fine for some reason there I just wanted to uh, <laughs> I guess play with my paper a bit more. So thank you and goodbye. I will see you in uh, the next video.